Each title, the E-list, Toastmaster, Muhammad Isa, contestant number seven. What do you do when someone unfairly treats you? Contest chair, ladies and gentlemen, in January 1998, I was impatiently waiting for the end of the year because I was expecting a promotion. I was so excited that I started calculating my salary <laughs> <laughs> and started having disagreements with my wife on what to spend. <laughs> and when the awaited moment came, I was greatly disappointed when I found that not only had my boss deprived me of a very well-deserved promotion, but he had lowered my performance appraisal. I became sad and mad, and I hated him. I decided to add him to my E-list, <laughs> my enemy list. <laughs> and the minute I did that, my whole life turned upside down. I started hating war. Every morning, I would drag my feet to my office. <laughs> and the eight hours I spent there felt like eight long days. <laughs> Working place was not the only one. My sweet home was another place where happiness disappeared. <laughs> I could no longer enjoy eating my delicious food, playing with my lovely kids, or even having a good sleep at night. Because I was thinking all the time about the person in my e-list while eating taking shower, <laughs> or in my own bed. I was spending with my enemy most of my time. <laughs> Where? In my most intimate place. <laughs> While not finding the time to do the activities, yes. I always enjoy doing together with the family. Pushing the shopping cart, <laughs> filling it with goodies for our house, because I was busy filling my heart with the grudges I was collecting about that person. I lost appetite and I gained weight. <laughs> <laughs> because food was the only thing I could chew and buy. <coughs> my family suffered and so did I. And after two weeks of agony, my wife complained to her father. <laughs> and the old wise man summoned me for a talk. When I stood before him, he said, son, let me ask you this question. If you have a lovely car that you adore, and one of your enemies broke its window, would you take a sledgehammer and devastate the rest of your car? <laughs> I said, no, of course. <laughs> He said, isn't this exactly what you are doing now? <laughs> Ruining your whole life. Because another person destroyed one part of it. Son, hating is devastating. <clears throat> Whenever somebody unfairly treats you, never hate before you evaluate. Evaluate their intentions. Are you sure they meant to harm you? Evaluate your other options. Other than hatred, hating is devastating. How about forgiving? Forgetting, talking to them, <coughs> filing a complaint against them. <coughs> you have to be emotionally intelligent. When you decide to hate, to hate you are the one. <coughs> will be most hurt. That little discussion was one of the greatest wake-up calls in my life. Next morning, I went to my supervisor, and I asked him to explain his unfairness with me. When he saw me, he left his chair, and he sat before me, and with
with a great empathy and sincerity, he said, Muhammad, we really apologize. I was under tremendous pressure because of budget cuts to delay your promotion. We will make it up for you next year. And next year, I was promoted. Oh. Ever since, I never allow myself to hate before I evaluate. Nowadays, when I drive my car, and another crazy driver drives me not, I don't insult him immediately. <laughs> <laughs> I asked him to pull over <laughs> and step out of his car <laughs> to evaluate. <laughs> and then look at him. If he is this type, <laughs> I would forget and forget. <laughs> but if he is the smaller part. <laughs> I would give him a motivational speech on <laughs> how to behave himself with the right body language. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, at present, I have no room in my heart for hatred. <laughs> Nor in my bed for an enemy to see. <laughs> and that's why I walk in life much more happily than ever. <laughs> Enjoying every second of my time. Dedicating my time and mind for my self-development and my loved ones. Ladies and gentlemen, and very good friends. <coughs> if you want to live happily, peacefully, and successfully, do your best to keep your illness <laughs> 